fan, welcome back to the shop, and today we're going to talk about, uh, it's a quick, uh, what would you call it, something, <laughs> bit of a shop chat, um, so TST Industries have released their new video, or two new videos, based on what they've found and what they've done, uh, it's quite a funny video, I do recommend you watch it, uh, it's good that he's gone out and got um, some data logging, it is very important, what's quite cool about the data logging, cool, uh, is that you see, that the um, coolant temperature it gets up to like 90, 85, 90 between there when he's racing. Nothing wrong with that cooling system. You can actually see from the graphs that it, it basically goes up like this, he's racing and then you get a bit of boil over there. Not a problem, we'll talk about that in a separate video. After I shot off the motor it went up to 106 but that's typical of a heat soak cycle. 109, that's fine. The motor wasn't running, it wasn't producing any more heat, so that's fine. Everywhere else we look to be at 80 Celsius or below, so that was good. That means we're not gonna blow it up due to heat. Um, but you can see, I don't think it was 109 or something. And thank God it's in Celsius, not fucking Fahrenheit. But this is running between 85 and 95, I believe, from that data. Um, you can see this little, uh, you know, this is while he's running, this is basically the race, and this is where he shuts the bike off, so that's the bike off. Not a problem with that off, not a problem with that cooling system, you know what I mean? Um, but yes, it's very good that he's got data logging. Like I say, I'm not on some witch hunt just to take the piss out of people and earn money off YouTube just because I slag people off. What they said originally was fucking stupid. I'm going to stick with that, you know what I mean? It was a good video because we started talking about failure analysis and all the rest of it. Um, but if you are experimenting, if you are going to have that many mods, stop buying ceramic bearings for your gearbox because they make no fucking difference. Stop undercutting gearboxes that have no problem in the first place. You're just cutting into the case hardening and weakening your gears. Spend that money on a data logger because information, you know, everyone says that, you know, knowledge is power and no matter, the bike's not making any more power because the fucking piston's gone and died. You know what I mean? Knowledge is everything, especially in this day and age. God, we've all got laptops and we've all got computers and we've all got this, that and the other. There is no excuse why you shouldn't have if you're trying to do what they're trying to do. Dino time and all the rest of it is all fucking wasted. If you cannot monitor what happens in real time, in real life. You know what I mean? And all fair play to him it was killing him in the video you could just see him going is don't say it don't fucking say it don't say out about matt's video don't fucking mention it don't do this don't do that i'll mention all the other things that people said but i won't mention anything it was quite funny that's it on the bike right now uh we are going to move on to answering a question that i felt was very compelling from uh from the last episode uh, we have some logs that we got but fuck it, I don't care. You know, I'm happy that the fact that they're starting to use the fucking heads and doing things properly. Data logging is absolutely fucking everything. You'll see this in the future when I start building engines and stuff. I'm gonna have so many fucking sensors, it is ridiculous. And this is what test bed engines are all about. There are sensors coming out your ass. The horsepower one is one of the last ones you need to worry about. Pressure data, vibration data, data from your knock sensor, air fuel ratios, air mass, air temperature, air density, humidity, you can kind of roll them into one, um, fuel flow rates, pressures, uh, crankcase pressures, exhaust temperatures, exhaust gas temperatures, um, you can just go fucking mad, you can go absolutely mad, and when you see these test bed engines and all the rest of it, it's absolutely fucking crazy, but thank god they've actually done something that actually makes sense, and you know, stop with the bullshit it's great I, I like it it's good and in a sense that was the whole point is that i made a big point of the you need to get a data logger you need to record all these things hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit